Ball Fun Fact. Did you know there are boy pine cones and girl pine cones? Well, now you know. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Hi, welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Fall Time Edition. It's Nature Walk Week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that you would see if you go on a nature walk. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a pine cone. So let's get started. It's time to draw. For this drawing, I'm looking at a pine cone that I picked up outside, and I'm going to draw kind of a simplified version of this. Um, but we're going to start off with a line down the center. And you can curve it a bit if you'd like to. It should be very light because we'll be making changes as we go along. And I'm just going to kind of build off of this. And what I'm going to do at the base here, I'm going to draw, there's a little place here where it attaches to the branch. So I'm going to draw kind of a little triangular shape here. A little bit of a shadow or curve on that. Okay, and then I'm going to build this pine cone one piece at a time. Each of these scales, I'm going to draw them separately. And I'm going to start here at the bottom and make kind of a, in the middle, there's one here, and it's going to have a little dip in the center. It's a kind of almost a triangle shape, but it's a little rounded on the corners, and then there's a piece here that dips down right here and then off to each side we're going to draw a piece that kind of loops out and comes back and then that's kind of what we're going to be doing all the way up we're going to add one here in the center and then two on each side so I'm going to I want to offset it just a little bit I'm going to put another one here and then a piece that comes out to this side and they're not going to be exactly even or exactly straight so just draw it on there I think I want to change this one just a little bit just like that okay and then I want to offset it this direction and I'm kind of following this line as I go up here it's going to get a little bit wider as it goes. It kind of gets wider at the middle and then back goes narrow again up towards the top. I'm going to offset this one just a little bit more. Okay, and you just keep building, you just keep adding and going up. Each of these shapes they have this this top part. The ones in the middle, you see this edge and then the sides kind of curve in. On the outside, it's almost like a teardrop shape. And then there's a piece that curves over like this. And they come out from the center. They kind of build out from the center. I'm going to change it up and do this outside one here first. And then do the next inside one. Now these are tricky to draw. Takes a little practice and takes a little time. A little patience. This is not the first one I've done. I've done several here in practicing for this. And I got a little bit better with each one. So don't give up if you don't give it, get it right away and try it again. It does have, help to have something to look at in front of you. 
Now, right now you're watching me, but if you'd like to go outside, you know, if you're in a place where they grow, then that would be a good idea. It's good to have something in front of you to look at. Okay, now this isn't quite as tall as I originally designed, but that's okay. That that's, looks like that's a good place to stop. That one right there. Now the next thing is to go back in and add some shadow on the inside. Well, where all these scales come out towards us, they create shadows underneath here. And so I'm going to go back in here and shade in the lower part of each of these scales. So it's right up above, like here's the top part, I'm going to go right up above that and shade the bottom part of the one above it. And that makes it also look three-dimensional by making part of it darker with shadow there. You have, it creates some, a sense of depth or space in the pine cone. Okay, now lastly we want to go ahead and erase any extra lines that might be sticking out. Oh, one more thing, I do want to go around the outside edge and just kind of go along the contour of the outside edge and make it darker. Okay, now clean up any extra lines. You can add color if you'd like to. And this is our drawing for today, a pine cone. Now that you know how to draw a pine cone, take some time and go outside and find something else to draw. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Beautiful. Bobby meets Susie. Susie meet Bobby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.